The dramatic advance of Ukraine's army is causing some public anger now in Russia. Ukrainian troops have recaptured an estimated 2,000 square miles of territory in recent days. The country's president says the counterattack will continue, and Russian President Vladimir Putin is now facing some rare criticism at home. Deborah Pata has the latest from Kharkiv, where Russian troops have effectively been forced out. Seizing the momentum, Ukrainian troops continue their remarkable advance. Yellow and blue, pretty much the only colors flying high across this region today. As they win the admiration of liberated towns and villages. Our troops were so smart, said this woman. The Russian soldiers ran away so fast, they planned this really well. When Vladimir Putin declared war on Ukraine nearly seven months ago, his troops seized massive chunks of Kharkiv. But in just a matter of days, Ukrainian forces have blitzed through Russia's gains, snatching back huge swaths of land. It's a crushing defeat and a decisive strike against Moscow's ability to resupply their forces. Now they can no longer use liberated Izium as a strategic hub. They left all their explosives and ammunition here, said this Ukrainian soldier. As the Russian front line collapsed, the extent of a war declared largely on civilians is becoming clear. Hospitals and schools blown up, people killed in their own backyards. Away from the battlefield, hard questions for Putin on state-run television, which usually only pushes Moscow's line in its so-called special military operation. It's either full-scale war or we get out, said former parliamentarian Boris Nadezhdin. And policy expert Viktor Olevich exclaimed in disbelief. You say everything's going according to plan? You really think six months ago we planned on leaving and repelling a counter-offensive? Ukrainians want to believe that the tide is turning in a war that's been weighted in Russia's favor. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned that while this counter-offensive was well-planned and had clearly benefited from Western military aid, it was too early to predict an outcome. Deborah Pada, CBS News, Kharkiv, Ukraine.